Welcome to NiceWare's Barcode of the Week, highlighting the Code 128 barcode. This barcode was introduced in 1981, allowing a total of 128 ASCII characters to be encoded very efficiently. It's a high-density alphanumeric format and also linear. It's one of the most efficient and universal barcode standards, commonly used for shipping labels. Within this barcode contains six various sections. The standard for this barcode is maintained by AIM, the Automatic Identification Manufacturers. It's often selected over Code 39 barcodes in newer applications just because of its density and larger selection of characters. Here's a Code 128 barcode highlighting the six various sections. The outer two sections are the quiet zones, which protect other objects from interfering with scannability. The first section is the start character followed by the encoded data. And then the check character is used for security purposes. And finally, concluding this barcode is the stop character. On screen, you can see our Nice Label Pro Label Designer, which is our main label design tool we offer. And if you browse over to the left toolbar, you can see a barcode icon. If you click on Fix Barcode, it will allow you to left click on your label to drop this barcode. Now you are prompted to enter in various fixed data into this input pane. Once this is completed, you can simply click OK, and this drops your barcode onto your label. To get into more advanced properties of this barcode, you can double click on it, click on Barcode tab, you could adjust the various barcode types, or click Define to adjust the symbol height or the width of your barcode. The narrow bar width section allows you to increase or reduce the width of the barcode, allowing you to meet up with your appropriate mil spec. Typically between 10 and 15 mils is recommended for a scannable barcode. The check digit tab is automatically calculated for you with a nice label, followed by the human readable, which allows you to remove the human readable or adjust it to the top or bottom of the barcode. And finally, you can adjust the font so you can increase or decrease the font for that human readable for readability by that end user. The detail tab gets into quiet zones and also enabling manual encoding. If you're getting into more advanced barcode standards within this code 128, you can click on this right arrow to get into inserting special characters. There are preformatted characters already available for you, followed by the FNC1 to C4 characters. And these codes define instructions for your barcode reader. The FNC1 is reserved for future use, whereas FNC2 tells the reader to store data and transmit it with the next symbol. FNC3 is reserved for your code reader initializing and other code reader functions. The FNC4 is reserved for future applications. So typically these are used for compliance barcodes. And within the readability of this barcode, once you scan it, there are basically three different control codes, A, B, and C subsets. And subset A includes the standard ASCII symbols, digits, uppercase letters, and control codes. Whereas subset B includes standard ASCII symbols, digits, upper and lower case letters. Subset 3 compresses two numeric digits into each character, providing excellent density. Shown here is a fixed barcode, but if you wanted to include data from your database, simply click on the drop down arrow, scroll down to use existing variable, and then you can pull in database information right into your barcode. Nice Enable makes it very easy for you to include other information like a keyboard input field, allowing you to type in data at print time to populate this barcode. Or you have other options for adding new counters, new date fields, and new time fields. This concludes our Code 128 barcode review. Tune in to our next review covering the Code 39 barcode standard.